Okay, guys, welcome to the vlog. Today's um, August 24th, 2017. Okay, today I'm in the field across the street from my house. Now, there is 3,000 gnats in this field, too. You know what? I'm going to buy me some off. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah, sir, but anyways, we're in the field for a reason. And for that reason, for that reason, that didn't make any sense, did it? We're in the field for a reason. And that reason is a drone review. Now, I've not had much luck with um, small drones. Micro drones, I believe. This one's a micro drone. Um, I'm going to do a series of drone reviews. I believe there's two or three in the series. They are the new Air Hogs drones from Walmart. Now, the reason I'm doing these is because, you know, you can go to Walmart and look at these, and I'm sure there's plenty of children out there that look at these and say, I want that, but parents, you know, they want to check it out before they buy it and see if it's worth it, so we're going to find out if it's worth it or not. Today is the Air Hogs <coughs> Micro Race Drone. Now, this is a whole new box right here. If you see the drone right there, check it out. Look how small it is. I have not flown this drone yet. There's the power switch. If you flip it over, you can see the battery in there. See it right there? That's the battery. There's a light right here. And that's the drone. Pretty cool little drone. I haven't flown it yet. Now the controller, let me show you how this works okay now if you read right here it says beginner and advanced modes by the way this is Luke Bannister edition he is a world champion drone racer beginner and advanced modes flight assist technology if you turn the box on the side if you turn the box on the side you can see beginner and advanced modes engineered for safety height lock technology hover at one height so it does have auto hover we'll try that out Easy stunt button, 6-axis gyro, 2.4 gig frequency, so it should go pretty far away. Now, the contents, it, this claims indoors, so we'll see if it flies outdoors, but the contents is one micro race drone, check. One controller, check. One USB charge cable, we have that, and a user instruction guide, we have that. Okay, so... Aerogs, Luke Bannister Edition, DR1 Racing Micro Race Drone. I carry this with me, this pocket juice, because it has a built-in Android cable right here. Hang on just a second. And that's how I can charge this drone. So, I'm going to turn the box over. I'm going to set this on here. Okay, I'm going to explain the controller real fast. This is throttle up and down and left and right is the yaw that's to spin the drone left and right this is forward backward left right this is the power button this is auto takeoff and auto land this is number one is beginner mode number two is advanced mode and all the other buttons are the trim the trim is if it's if it's going if it's like leaning to the left a little bit and moving left you push right and it'll trim it to the right forward backward in the yaw trim so when you're in one when you start it up i believe i haven't flown it yet when you start it up it takes off and it will stay at one height the more you push this up the higher it'll go and it'll stay there now when you put it on two it's more of an advanced mode that you control the height with this so we'll see how it works i'm going to give the camera to my wife and we'll see how it takes off. We're going to start with beginner mode and um, auto takeoff. See what happens. Okay, it's recording. Okay, are you, is it right? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to push. Well, I mean, I've never flown it before, so let's just fly it. And when we turn it on, you know what? I'm going to move this box over here into the shade so we can see it. Better. Good idea. Right. right there? Yeah. When I turn it on, you'll see a light. Can you see the light? Yeah. Yeah. Put it right there. We'll turn this on. All right, I'm going to leave it in one. This is one that's beginner mode, and we're going to push that auto takeoff and see what happens. Uh-oh. Look at that. 
Do you see this thing? This is amazing. Look at this. Wait. Okay. <laughs> Man, oh, I okay. My, uh, user error. User error. What I did. Okay. What I did on accident is you guys saw me when I did auto takeoff. I had this all the way down. Mm. So of course it's gonna go down after a while. Let's put it up. Oh, I did. Oh, I didn't use auto takeoff. So you can take it off. That's awesome. Let's bring it over here, close to us. <laughs> Look at this, and that is auto hover. Look at this. And let me and add the wind's here. Blowing. The wind is blowing like crazy. It, I'm, not gonna hit I, I'm not worried about you hitting me. I'm just backing hey, I'm up. I'm gonna push throttle up so I can see it fly. Back down. Bring it over. As you can see, guys, how I have it leaned because of the wind, but I have never in my life had a micro drone do the wind like, or handle the wind like this. Let's try a flip. Hold on. Where are you? There. Whoa. Did you see it? Yeah. I'll bring it back over here and do it. And this is on beginner mode now, remember, guys. Is it good? Okay, I'm trying to figure it out. Bobby. Oh, yeah. There, did you see there, it? There, yeah. There we go. Okay, let's come back down a little bit. I'm trying to get it. There, yeah. Now it's in focus. Up there, it's not as in focus on the camera. Okay. How about now? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to land it. Let's push auto land. It auto landed. Beautiful. Okay, now for the real test. Okay, in the first place, if I had more than two thumbs, I'd be doing that right now, by the way. <laughs> um, it's it's amazing. You can Absolutely pitch a big Absolutely amazing for a micro drone. First takeoff, first flight, wind, outdoors. This is an indoor drone. Amazing. That bird's not amazing. This is amazing. Okay, we are going to turn it off. Turn it off. Turn it back on. Turn it on, put it on number two. Now, I'm gonna try to keep it next to us. See the number two? Yeah. I'm gonna try to keep it next to us here and see. Now, on, on advanced mode, I do believe that when I lean it, the drone will lean a lot more, which um, in turn makes it go faster, of course, mm -hmm. you know? So let's see. Now, there is no auto takeoff on advanced mode. It is strictly fly so here we go oh yeah see how far it leans yeah jeez. look at that whoa did you see the yaw that was whoa. not from the screen look at that. hang on I'm coming over here yeah it's so tiny it's hard to pick up <clears throat> well it's the wind I'm coming back Now, watch this, hang on. I didn't mean to do that. What I'm trying to show is the yaw and how fast. But I mean, we are, look at the wind blowing my hair. I'm fighting the wind right now, you see. The wind is, I can't tell you how strong the wind is blowing. Look at this tree. Look. Yeah. Do you see the tree? And that is a look. tiny little drone. And this drone doesn't weigh, but I mean, it weighs nothing. 28 grams? Is that what I read? Uh, it don't say over there, but all drones are light. And another thing I want to say, guys, is I do believe, um, if you want to look this up, I do believe this may be Airhog's copy of a Tiny Whoop, which I believe it's 95 millimeter. A Tiny Whoop is a race drone that people build on carbon fiber frames. Or actually, no, the Tiny Whoop is a plastic frame and it looks just like this and they put a little first person view camera on it and race them. Um, keep that in mind. <laughs> keep that in mind. Um, this is the first of a series of the new Air Hawks drones we're doing. Uh, let's try it one more time. Now, 
flight time is at about eight minutes. Charge time is only 30 minutes on this drone. So I can hook it up to my little battery pack right here. This and charge time is 30 minutes. Uh-oh. I accidentally <laughs> did that. All right, here we go. There's not much wind. Let's do it. Now lost it. It's so hard to follow it. It controls. You control it good, though. Uh oh. Oh. Okay, there it is. It is a cool drone. Guys, it certainly is steady and stable as you're gonna get. Look at this, out of a out of a little drone like that. It's incredible. And the wind is blowing, but I mean the yaw is incredible. The everything is good. Um the best. The best airhogs drone I've ever flown. If you go back on my channel about uh i don't know a couple couple vlogs ago there was that sound again what was that do you remember bird. the sound from putt putt yeah of the thing in the tree remember yeah. there it was again <laughs> it was again <laughs> but um <laughs> this is the best air hogs drone i've ever flown oh by the way the light is blinking that means the battery is dying um best air hogs drone i've ever flown I believe it's dying, that's why it yeah. keeps going to the ground. I'll show you how to charge it. Come over here. Okay, what you do, guys, turn it off. Turn your controller off. If you, well, of course, you get your USB plug. Is it? Hey, listen, guys, do you hear my bird? <laughs> Okay, I'm getting very aggravated with my bark. Anyways, you plug this in right, look, it's a mini USB, you plug it in right here. You push that, well on, you know, if you plug it into a wall socket. Now, if you look right here, the light will be flashing different colors. That means it's charging as soon as it turns solid. It's fully charged, 30 minutes or less, it'll be charged. Get eight to 10 minutes flight time. This. This is an amazing drone. Okay, for my outro, I shall say, there's two of us here. So we're gonna give it four thumbs up. Cause she's giving it to, I give it to Luke Bannister edition, micro race drone, DR1 Racing Air Hogs. 39.97 at Walmart. And okay, I know that's a little high for a micro drone, but well worth it. Indoors, amazing. I haven't even flown it indoors, but I, I can tell you 100% amazing because out here in this 15 mile per hour wind, it's flying and it's this big. Strong enough, good enough, four thumbs up. Good job, Air Hogs. Stay tuned because soon, soon something nice is coming. Very soon. And it, it relates to this. May not be tomorrow, maybe a few days. But it's coming okay thank you for joining the vlog thumbs up share um subscribe if you haven't please subscribe and we'll see you tomorrow